Hey everyone, so I thought I would do my December favorites. Um, I don't really have them all, I have just the boxes of them just because I couldn't find, I didn't want to look for all of them. I have just a couple of my favorites that I've been really liking actually this um, December. I Since I've gotten a lot of Christmas money, I had a lot of money to buy new things. So that's one of the reasons why I hadn't really gotten new things for all my favorites. But now that I have money, I can do it. So uh, I bought a couple, two really new, actually three really new things, and two things that I've, I've been using for a while that I've just been really loving um, and using consistently. So I hope you enjoy. So to first start off with, um, I've been using this um, kind of non-stop and I've been really realizing that my pores have gone very very huge um, I think that's one of the reasons why my skin has been getting really oily my, my the oil has just been like seeping out of my pores so I went to um, Clinique my best friend is a really big Clinique fan and she raves about this stuff all the time so I got the Clinique pore minimizer um, lotion it's a refining lotion um, and it's supposed to, it says it's supposed to um, multitasking oil free formula smooths, clears away debris, and instantly reduces the look of pores. Goes to, on to strength pores walls over time. Apply twice a day after step three non acne genetic, non -acne -genetic um, meaning that it's not going to give you acne. So um, it was about $20, I think $21 plus tax. So um, I've really haven't noticed that much, but really my skin has been a little bit less oily. I still use my Laura Mercier um, Secret Finish Mattifier underneath my foundation, so that always makes my skin matte, but really the look of my pores is what I was really concerned with, because I feel like my pores are just so huge. So I picked this up, and I've been using it for about two weeks now, and I have to say I do like it. Um, I was looking at my pores the other day, <laughs> my magnifier, and I really did notice that they looked a lot smaller, so that's cool. And I'll put a description bar where you can find everything. Um, this I actually got an accident. I was going to repurchase my Laura Mercier Secret Mattifier, um, Secret Finish Mattifier Gel, and I accidentally just grabbed it, and I didn't really like look at what I was buying at Sephora, and I picked this up. So this is the Laura Mercier Secret Finish. That's all it is. So the only difference between this is it's a Secret Finish, and the other one is a Secret Finish Mattifier. So this one actually says it's supposed to illuminate your skin. Um, I went to the counter, Laura Mercier counter at Dillard's, and the woman had told me that um, she likes to apply it at night when you know you want your skin to look really glowy at the night skin, underneath your eye and around your highlight, and that really it really um, makes your eyes bright. So I did it today, and I think you can tell that my eyes are really really um, luminous. I mean right here underneath my eye it's very very sparkly and pretty so I have been really liking that even though I have oily skin um, I just put it underneath my eyes I don't put it on my nose or my chin or my forehead because that will make it really oily um, those of you who have, who have oily skin she said that this is a great product to use if you have oily skin and you want a really I mean have a dry skin sorry scratch that this is a great product to use if you have dry skin and you want that dewy finish this is a great product to give it to you and it's not going to harm your pores or Break, make you break out. It says, Secret Finish magically restores radiance and freshens your makeup at any time of the day or night. A small amount applied over foundation powder or setting powder is the final step to achieve your flawless face. Just a touch refreshes a dry, powdered appearance or apply generously for the moist, natural glow. So if you have dry skin, this is a great product. Even though I have oily skin, I think it's nice for underneath your eye because that's where I get really dry sometimes. Um... The la uh, third thing is uh, this, actually I have it out right here, um, this is the EOS um, lip, uh, lip Balm, it's a really nice, it's 95% um, organic and 100% natural, it's a great, great lip balm, it's so cute, it has a little picture here, see, I got this at Walgreens, um, and this is in the, sh the color, I mean the flavor, um, Honeysuckle Honeydew. And that's what it looks like. It's really precious and cute. See, it has the little EO sign. And it smells delicious. I have it on right now underneath my lipstick. And I love it. It's my favorite. My friend and I all have it. One of the girls in my office um, saw that I was using it. And she bought some for the whole girls, all the girls at the office. Because she thought, excuse me, it was so cute. Um, okay, second to the last thing. This is just the packaging. I have them on right now, actually. I'm telling you, I've been loving this stuff. I've been wearing it every day. These are the e.l.f. fake eyelashes. Um, I have them on right now, and they look very natural. They're the natural finishing. They have a dramatic one, but I like the natural just because it gives my lashes an extra oomph. 
Um, I feel like it makes them look a lot more natural. You naturally have large eyelashes. Um, I get this all the time when I wear them. Like, oh my god, those your eyelashes are so huge. Like, they're beautiful. And I'm like, no, they're fake. And they're awesome. And these are only a dollar at eyesofface.com. Or I think they sell them at drug, um, drug stores sometimes. And I've seen them at the dollar stores sometimes too. But I purchase mine from online because I buy the HD powder. But it's at eyesofspace.com and I'll put in below in the below bar where you can find um, these. Um, and they're only a dollar, so it's awesome. They're really pretty. And lastly, um, I know I talk about this all the time, but this is the MAC lipstick in Viva Glam 5. It's awesome. I love, love, love this lipstick. It's one of my favorites. I'm wearing it right now. Um, it's the most prettiest one I've found. It's very natural and pretty. It has like a gold -y kind of um, tone to it, and it makes your lips look really naturally radiant, which is pretty. Um, so I really just apply the EOS lip balm, and then I apply the lipstick on top, and it gives a nice sheer coverage, but still very pretty. So I have a tutorial on this makeup look, and I'll post it soon. Um, so if it's not up yet, um, I'll put it here on Audrey's face, and... I'll link that there so you can see it. Um, it's a very, very natural um, bronze look. I got the inspiration from Kim Kardashian because she always has really pretty brown eyes and a really nice pinky um, cheek. Very, very pretty. Um, I'm going to do a review on these two products, so stay tuned for these two, the Laura Mercier Secret Finish and the Clinique Pore Minerizer. I'm going to use them for a little bit more and um, see if I really, really do like them, but I have been liking them a lot for this month. But I want to do a full review so you guys can see how they are. Um, and that's basically it, guys. I have finished. Um, I got a new makeup bag. That's kind of cool, too. It's just this Chloe on it. It's from the um, French designer Chloe. I think she's French designer. But the perfume, my boyfriend got me the huge gift set for Christmas, and I absolutely love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, have, you have a wonderful, wonderful week or a day or whatever have you. Um, bye.